So aloha everyone, it's Mary and now we're back with another video here on my channel and for today's video guys, I'm going to be sharing to you my journey of being a vegetarian at 18. <music> So this video guys is my way of celebrating my five years of being a lacto of a vegetarian and not only that I'm going to share to you my journey, I'm also going to be sharing to you some few tips on how to eat healthier and also I'm going to be sharing also some few tips on how to keep on going on your chosen diet. So if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button notification down below to get notified with our new upload. So without further ado, let's dig right in into the video. So for this video guys, I'm gonna be having my iPad with me because this is where I wrote the timeline and bullet points on those things that I need to share to you today. And today, my bago din tayong set up. Thankfully, my effort tayo sa set up. And I have my contacts on para Beautiful eye style sa video. Anyway, let's start. For body references, guys, this was my body when it was 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and for this year, 2020. So I think many of my friends really get so amazed when I tell them that I am vegetarian or yung mga tao na na-meet ko for the first time na sinasabihan na, sinasabihan ko na vegetarian ako kasi siguro it's peculiar. Hindi naman peculiar in a bad way, but peculiar in a good way na vegetarian. Hindi kasi siya common, lalo na sa southern part ka ng bansa. And also sa Philippines din, hindi common na may vegetarian and vegan. So, everything that I did or the shifting and all the vegetarian stress that I did started when I was in college. So, I was actually 17 nung flexitarian ako, but 18 na talaga na naging vegetarian. So, it's been 5 years already. Yun, pag college kasi, di ba, ang sarap kumain ng mga noodles, canned goods, yung mga ganon. Tapos, when I was really parang transitioning from college, first year ako, ang dami kong ganon. At saka, man, madami ding mga overnight chips na sobrang sarap din. Tapos, fast food. So, kumakain ako ng mga ganon on the onset ng college. And yun nga, pag sa college ka, you are susceptible to eating unhealthy foods. And then, at some point, at some point, it struck me na parang, I need to eat healthier. Parang ganon. I need to eat healthier. So, I became a flexitarian. And the two reasons why it's easy for me to be a flexitarian is first, I'm allergic to chicken and then second is that um, I don't eat pork anymore because ano na lang kumakain ako pero hindi sa dorm kasi nga yung roommates and dormmates ko dati is Muslim sila so as a way of showing my respect to them so I don't eat pork kasi minsan nag-share kami ng mga bowls tapos nag-share kami ng mga serving spoon so ayoko namang mabahiran ng mga pork chimanelin yung mga ano nila yung mga bowls and ano namin so Yun, hindi ako kumakain ng pork sa dorm and nakakakain lang ako ng pork ng college pag nasa bahay ako ng tita ko. So, yun, naging flexitarian ako. So, I only eat beef and fish. So, at some point din, um, I gave up beef kasi parang pag kasi hindi siya saktong pagkakaluto, may amoy talaga siya na malansa. Yung pork, ay, hindi pork, yung parang meat na lansa. Hindi ko alam, basta ma maano mo yun maamoy mo yun. So, hindi ko siya bet somehow at that time. So, I shifted from a flexitarian into a pescatarian. So, I only eat fish and seafood. So, at that time, nagka goods pa din ako. Yung mga tuna na iba't ibang flavors, ganon. But, so, kumakain ako ng mga seafoods. Tapos, at some point, when I saw a documentary on... um microplastics that might be in our food through seafoods and the fish that we eat. So, yun talaga, nag-change talaga yung perspective ko sa mga ganun. 
So I became a lacto vegetarian at that time. So one year din yung transition stage ko before I decided to become a lacto ovo vegetarian. So if you're asking me, is it hard or it was it easy? Um, at that time, siguro for me, honestly, it was quite hard. Kasi nga, you've been eating meat for the past 17 years of your life. At tapos biglang, boom, may paganon. Tapos biglang lacto ovo vegetarian ka na agad. So, yung transition stage of looking for alternatives was my struggle at that time. Kasi hindi naman talaga ano, easy maghanap ng alternatives. Pero thankfully, I'm really blessed kasi yung dorm ko dati is malapit sa Seventh Day Adventist Church. At saka maraming nagbibenta around ng mga gulay. So parang madali na lang din siya na ganun yung setup. Nung journey ko na naging lacto ovo vegetarian na and year 1 to year 5, nung nasa iligan ako, it was quite easy somehow. Kasi nga, may makikita ka naman, kasi may mga shops na nag- nagbibenta. So, may makikita ka na mga, ano, mga madaming gulay, like nanay sus, yan. Tapos, um, sa wraps, meron din silang gulay, tsaka ibang shops na nagbibenta ng mga salads, iligan vegetarian na nagbibenta ng mga tofus, ganun. But, Medyo nahirapan ako nung umalis na ako ng iligan. Nung nag-Manila na ako for review at saka may events in Manila. So medyo mahirap siya kasi sa Manila kasi para merong madaming masasarap but hindi siya readily accessible lalo na pag nasa university belt ka or university area sa may Sampaloc, Espanya. Medyo wala talaga. So at that time, dun ko din na experience na mag-try out ng mga smoothies, avocado toast, yung mga ganun na recipes for me to survive. Well, survive talaga. For me to survive there. Tapos, so doon ko din na-realize na kaya pala sinasabi nila na it's expensive to be a vegetarian there kasi nga, really, ang price difference ng fruits and vegetables is sobra talaga. Like, medyo mahal nga talaga. Kasi for example, ng avocado, 40 pesos lang sa amin dito or Ano, dito sa Mindanao, somehow, 40 to 50. Pagdating mo dun, aga around 160 per kilo na siya. So, dun, dun ako na shook na ha, as in, ganun pala yung prices. So, medyo, may price difference talaga, kaya medyo mahal siya. So, that was my journey. So, it was quite hard at first, but later on, you'll get used to it on a long-term basis na siya. So, yun, parang, ano na din, nasanay ka na na ganun. So, hindi na siya ganun kahirap for me at that. So now, the next part of our video is that I'm going to share to you some few tips on how to eat healthier. So if you're going to ask me how, tatlong bagay lang yung masasabi ko. First is that you have to start with the reason why. Maybe because, ano, what's your why and your driving force on eating healthier or choosing to eat healthier maybe because you wanted to be skinny you want to be fit you want to achieve your body goals or maybe you want to change your lifestyle for the better or maybe you have other health restrictions that you need to follow that's why you need to eat healthier so that's your why and i think this has kept me going over the years and umabot siya ng five years na ganito kasi diba pwede kang matempt anytime. Charot, pwede kang matempt anytime na kumain. Kasi nga, yung mga bigger events, fiesta, Christmas, mga ganun, birthday party, so pwedeng, ang daming pwedeng, charot, pwedeng mangyari na matempt ka. But, sa akin naman, when I was starting out, my why was actually, ano, natatakot akong ma-hospital. So, my why was actually, came from my fear na baka ma-hospital ako kasi, yun nga, because of my unhealthy eating habits dati. Kasi ba sobrang-sobrang laki ko nung first year and kumakain ako ng kahit ano. So, natatakot ako na umabot sa point na ma-hospital ako tapos walang mag-aalaga sa akin kasi malayo yung parents ko, yung mga ganun na fear. So, when I realized that I was actually losing weight dahil dun sa diet ko, so I kept it going and then, ano, I added another why that I wanted to lose weight, yung mga ganon. And then, after that, nagtuloy-tuloy na siya na with another why na gusto kong 
ano, ma-maintain na ganito yung katawan ko or um, I want to eat healthier for the better and to do a self-care for myself. So, ito yung form ng self-care ko sa sarili ko at that time. So, yun. Start with the reason why you want to eat healthier. Okay. The second part is appreciate the gradual shift. So, it won't happen overnight. Na biglang magdadeset ka today na magiging vegetarian ka tapos next week my party tapos may mga lechon, adobo so it's really hard so it won't happen overnight and if you're from a family of meat eaters and you're from a family or in a community who loves to eat meat like the Philippines, lechon, adobo mechado, afritada, inihaw yung mga ganon so medyo mahirap talaga siya so yun gradual shift I think is for you and appreciate that gradual shift and also, include natin yung gradual shift, yung opening up yourself to the people around you. Kasi nga, Filipinos love to bond over food. That's, ano, parang naging, ano na, bonding session na. Tara, kain tayo sa may bagong ganito, bagong kainan. So, opening up yourself to them na ganito yung diet mo. And, yun, somehow, I think they would understand. But, on my case naman, yung ginagawa ko pag kumakain sila sa isang, yun, may mga meat talaga, ay nagtitake out ako sa ibang mga, ano, sa ibang shops na may mga gulay, fruits and veggies, tapos dun ko kinakain kasama sa kanila. Kasi nga, baka may corkage, pero minsan naman walang corkage. And also guys, nakakapagsamgyupsal ako twice, kahit hindi ako nakain ng meat, kasi yung mga, ano nila, yung mga ibang nakakain doon, pwede ko naman kainin. But I'm so thankful to my cousins kasi yun, dinila nila ako doon twice na already. So I'm very thankful to them for sharing it to me and for being so considerate about my diet. And also sa family, yun talaga yung parang nasusuk yung pamilya ko nung sinabi ko talagang vegetarian na ako, hindi na ako nakain ng meat, tapos ganito, ganyan. As in, yung strong disagreement ng lolo ko, Sobrang ano, pinabasa pa niya ako ng isang nutritional book about my diet and he even told my dad, dad about my diet and showing concerns about that. But later on in life, natanggap naman nila somehow, awa ng Diyos, natanggap naman nila na ganun yung diet ko. So yun na nga, yun. Opening up to your friends and family and the people around you. So, part siya ng gradual shift. Aside pa nung gradual shift of being a flexitarian, pescatarian, and lacto-vegetarian na ginawa ko at that time. And the last thing that I'm going to share to you on how to eat healthier is to create action steps. So, if you want to do something, you know, create an action step. So, I got it from a book, which is somehow, ito naman yung ginawa ko. It, it must be personal, so it always involves you. And then second, it must be practical or something that you can do. So maybe you can cook, you can do the grocery, you can choose organic foods. Yung mga ganon na pwede yung gawin on your own talaga so that you'll get used to it. And the last part of creating your action step is to have the deadline. So siguro hindi siya deadline na tomorrow or next month magiging lakta o vegetarian na ako. Hindi naman. So, siguro deadline siya ng no, mga usual na pag-grocery nyo and choosing on to organic foods or deadline on cooking yung meal plans nyo, yung mga ganon. So, somehow yun siya yung mga action steps para naman gawin mo talaga na makakatulong sa pag-shift mo ng diet mo. So, I think that's it on that part of the video and now let's proceed to the tips on how to keep on going. So, I lasted for five years because I did this somehow. And siguro I was so inspired of what Jen M, one of the YouTubers, uh, said that the universe will not offer you motivation every day. So, it's up to you to feed yourself with motivation. So, what I did was I watched movies or videos on and documentaries on animal farming, animal cruelty, um, vegetarians and vegans, yung mga ganon na videos so to keep me motivated on doing what I'm doing. And then, second is that I follow green pages. 
So, green pages talaga. Yung mga ano, vegetarian and vegan pages sa Facebook. I also follow some sa um, Instagram and I subscribe also to some YouTube channels na may mga vegetarians and vegan meals prepared. So, nasa search naman siya guys. So, yon And I think that the more we see those things on our feed when we're online, mas na ano tayo, mas na motivate. And on my end, yung ginawa ko is that um, pag may recipe akong nakita na masarap, just chinecheck ko yung mga ingredients. Now, if I think those ingredients are quite um, hindi feasible yung iba, tapos yung iba lang yung feasible, so I modify the ingredients and cook it in a way kung paano niluto. And then, yun, parang may pang-inspire lang ng ideas na pagdag, pandagdag kung anong pwede mong kainin at kung ano yung pwede mong gawin doon. So, the last part of how to motivate yourself is to join events and meet other vegans and vegetarians. So, ang daming online community of being a vegan and vegetarian. So, you can search them. May mga pages and may mga groups sa Facebook na ganun. So, doon ang daming makikita na mga inspiring na pagka-lose weight, being vegetarian. Parang yung isa pang nakita ko is my health condition siya. Tapos, um, she shifted into a vegetarian and she became really, really, uh, she she was cured and became really healthy about it. So, aside from joining online communities, um, on my end, nakapag-attend din ako ng vegan festival sa BGC at that time, last year. So, it was so very fulfilling, siguro somehow na experience na vegetarian ka, tapos may nag-offer sa'yo ng mga shops na pwede mong makain. So, parang, ang saya lang ng ganun, na hindi ka na nahirapang mag- maghanap or ganun. And also, uh, VegFest Pilipinas, guys, was parang 40 plus shop- shops lang siya nung nag-start, if I'm not mistaken, at yun yung nasabi. And then, they grew into 150 plus shops on year 3, and that was last year. So, yun. Parang nakaka-happy din na yung growth ng businesses also imply na may growth din sa demand and siguro may marami nang nag-shift ng vegan and vegetarians dito sa Philippines. So, yun. Yun yung mga pang-motivate ko to keep me going on what I am now on being a vegetarian. So, I think guys that now that we have the pandemic, we're always challenged on eating healthy foods and ano siya, parang naging sobrang sobrang need na siya and it's a good thing if you want to shift into um, healthier meals like one one meal a day, yung mga ganon and on my end, on my journey on everything that I did somehow, is it worth it? yes, it was, was it difficult? yes, but yun nga it was difficult but worth it somehow so i think that's it for this video guys and if you have questions and other video suggestions please comment them down below and also guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and see you on my next uploads guys thank you and god bless